now well students through these three examples now you must have come to know that all the three sectors they are very much interdependent on each other okay now the question uh, there is one table given on page number 21 in your economic book and you are to fill that table and then you will you will come to know that how the all the three sectors they are interdependent with each other now one question comes in my mind in my mind that why should we count all the goods and services produced in each sector we should count the goods and services produced in each sector because in this way we will come to know the number of persons working in each sector number two that how much how much goods and services are produced in each sector and number three that is very important that the value what is the share of each sector in gdp that is why we should count all the goods and services produced in each sector now students one more question arises that how can we count the value of goods and services produced in each sector well students you might be thinking that it's a very difficult task that we because we cannot compare the value of a car or a computer with a nail of course the car is more valuable than a computer and a computer is more valuable than a nail then how we, how can we compare all the three things well students you are very right in thinking so to solve this problem let let me tell you that the final value of all the product is being added all the intermediate goods which are required to make a final good the value of that all the intermediate goods will not be added let me clear it with one example for example a farmer sells wheat at rupees 8 per kg to a flour mill okay and the mill worker or the mill owner sell the flour at rupees 10 to a biscuit factory owner okay and then the biscuit factory owner prepares biscuit adding oil and sugar in it and then sell the biscuit packet at rupees 15 per packet to the people in this situation the value of all the required material will not be counted time and again the value of final goods is sufficient to count the share of each sector in GDP okay now that I think the things are very much clear in your mind okay now this is sufficient for today now my question or my assignment for today is explain primary sector secondary sector and tertiary sector this is first assignment now the second assignment is why should we count the various goods and produced uh, services produced in each sector and number three how can we count the value of each goods and services produced in each sector this is all for today have a nice day